Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can flip the player sprite when they move um, left and right. So in the previous tutorials we've been working on uh, moving the player around, getting the player to jump and working with the animation. So at the moment we can make the player move right and we've got a little walk animation there, we can make them jump. Um, but when we move left the player is still facing in the same direction. They're still looking towards the right when we move left. So really what we want to do, because that looks a little bit weird, we want when we move left, the character to switch directions and look towards the left and basically flip over. So what we need to do is we're going to have to change the player controller um, script to flip the character over when they start moving left. Um, so. Let's go back to our script here. We've got the player controller script here, which has got all of our stuff for movement and jumping and uh, animation here. And we need to add two lines of code. So we've already got code here that checks whether movement is in the right direction or movement is in the left direction because we've got movement equals input dot get axis horizontal. And so we're using the input manager to check whether um, the keys for right movement, so like the right arrow or the D key on the keyboard are being pressed. And if so, and the, um, the value becomes greater than zero, so then we move, we change velocity, make the um, character move right. And then if movement is left, then we make the character move left. So we've already got that there. So what we just need to do is if we go back to Unity and we just have a look at this player sprite here, we'll look at this character, we can actually look at the scale. Now I've got the scale here as 0 0.1483 and so on. And it's the same on the X, Y and Z axes. So for your character, scale might just be one for X, Y and Z, but my sprite was quite a big image, so I had to scale it down a bit. Um, but if we change the X scale, if I drag this right and increase that value, it stretches out on the X axis. So it becomes bigger on the X axis. But if we actually drag it the other way towards the left, we'll see that it actually flips over. So when the X becomes a negative value, it's the same image flipped over. Okay, so I'll just undo that. And what I'll do is I'll take that value there, I'll change it to minus 0 0.1483, and you can see it's the same image just flipped over. And back to positive value, it's looking to the right, negative value, it's looking to the left. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take that value, <clears throat> It's the same for X, Y, and Z, so we only need to copy this one value here. We'll right click, copy that. And what I'm going to do is go back to Mono Develop and we'll remember or that we've copied that value. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is change the scale of the sprite um, depending on which way we're moving. So we'll say, firstly, for the right movement, we'll say transform. <clears throat> dot local scale equals new vector two and then in brackets we need to specify the x and y values so we can just paste in and add an f there because it's a float for x and paste it in again for y and add an f close the bracket and end that line with a semicolon and there we go so we've got basically for right movement we're using those same values so 0 0.1483 so on for the x-axis and the same for the y-axis. Okay, now all we need to do is go down and when movement is in the right direction, we need to change that a little bit on the x-axis. So we'll say transform dot local scale, the same thing again, equals new vector two. And so this time we're going to keep the y-axis the same, but we're going to make the uh, x-axis the negative value. So we'll say minus, and then we can paste in that value, add an F. And then for y-axis, just paste in that value, keep it positive, close the brackets, and add a semicolon. So now we're just taking that value, but we're making it negative. So its scale is negative, it flips over and becomes like a mirror image. So we'll save that, go back to Unity, let that compile, and what's going on here? Oops, I forgot to add an F there on the end of this value. Save that again, go back 
and this error down the bottom should go away. Yep. All right, so now we can play the game. This code's compiled. We'll move in the right direction, and now we move in the left direction, and that uh, image has flipped over. So we move right, character's looking towards the right, we move left, character starts moving towards and looking towards the left. And same for jumping as well. You can jump in that direction. So we're able to flip the character sprite over depending on which direction they are moving. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. So it's basically just two lines of code here, changing the local scale. And um, basically we're setting the scale to what it was before when we're moving right. So we're just keeping it the same um, and keeping all of those values positive. And then when the movement is in the left direction, we make the X value a negative value. And just remember to end all of those numbers with an F there because we're working with the float data type. So don't forget that. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.